While in perfect fashion of 2016 being complete and utter piece of shit, one of the worst years ever, I have more bad news for you children. The freshest rumor that's pretty much hit the NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti rumor mill is this. The fucking thing could cost a thousand dollars. Oh boy. Uh, let's just break it down. As you might remember, many sites such as video cards have been saying that the 10 gigabyte high end graphics card would be the best option for NVIDIA right now, as it would not affect the Titan X Pascal cells, which has 12 gigabytes of this VRAM. Plus, it would be an interesting GPU over the 1080 that has 8 gigabytes. It is no secret that the 1080 Ti of whatever the name of this card is would use the GP102 GPU. NVIDIA has the option to use the same GPU variant in the 1080 Ti as well as on the Titan X or castrate some parts to deliver more affordable option. If NVIDIA engineers were to choose a 10 gigabyte 1080 Ti, it would probably require a 320 bit memory bus. That's what all the big sites were saying. But as they discovered just two days ago from a shipping manifest, the product SKU would be FOC PG611 SKU 0010 GPU, which has a 384 bit, pretty much 10 gigabyte GDDR computer graphics card. 699 1G611 0010 000. It clearly shows a 10 gigabyte, and we do not have any 10 gigabyte graphic cards as of yet. But how we know that this is the GTX 1080 Ti? Well, they don't. But what we all do know is that the PG611 board is equipped with the GP102, like the Titan. Therefore, it's gotta be the 1080 by process of elimination. We all know what's coming. Who are we fucking kidding? Titan X Pascal product number 699. I know you're gonna read this but it has the PG611 SKU, obviously. The new product from the shipping manifest is the GP with more SKUs and not reading those. In other words, this has to be the new card, unless someone made multiple mistakes, which is very unlikely. The only thing that does not necessarily make sense is the 384-bit memory bus, but does it really? I don't even see why they're questioning this. The 980 Ti was a 384-bit memory bus. The 780 Ti, I highly doubt NVIDIA is going to break with that. This is not the first time NVIDIA would use more memory controllers than is necessary. For example, the 660 was a 192 memory bit interface. The GTX 970 was a 256 bit interface. Of course, take this with a grain of salt, but something is definitely in the works. One more thing, the value of the board after conversion from Indian rupees is around 1000 ten dollars usd so at least we know it's cheaper than the titan x lottie freaking da whoopee i've got a boner oh boy this is great news it's only two hundred dollars cheaper than the fucking titan x so it basically takes the place of last year's titan in price this is ridiculous the 980 jumped like the 980 replacement which is the 1080 jumped a hundred dollars in price now it was safe to assume that the 1080 ti which we all thought was going to only jump a hundred dollars in price from last year instead we're looking at what a four hundred dollar jump in price like what the fuck is this shit like really for anyone that was looking forward to the 1080 ti myself included and i was planning on buying one the max i was willing to give might have been eight hundred dollars the max absolute max now that i know this is happening screw it i'm not going that far in no this is ridiculous this is too much for a luxury item i'm just gonna get another 980 ti call it a day because frankly a 980 ti outperforms the titan x pascal anyway 980 ti sli outperforms the titan x pascal just like the 1070 in sli outperforms the titan x there's a huge savings difference right there on all games that scale well. Yes, I know. Some games don't scale that well, like, I don't know, uh, Hitman, absolute, the new Hitman game. But overall, if you had to choose between dropping a ridiculous sum of money and, and just getting two lesser cards that would outperform it anyway, it's a no-brainer. This is NVIDIA shooting itself in the foot. And also, it kind of sucks because, let's face it, AMD has had nothing for them. They know they can do whatever they want. It's only going to be shown at CES in January. So the question remains to be seen. Will AMD answer back with something just as good, but at a lower price? Because if so, I'm jumping ship to AMD, even though I really hate AMD's... Uh, oh, well, they got rid of that software that allowed you to record game footage and stuff. It's not as good as Shadow Play, so I'd have to look into an alternative. But really, this is just... I find it highly disgusting. The TI series was the card that guys like me got. 
you know, the guys that were willing to spend a little bit more money to get great performance so we didn't have to go to the SLI setup, but weren't breaking the goddamn bank by trying to afford a card so egregiously expensive you could build a whole nother PC that was pretty badass for less. I mean, really, it's just such a slap in the face. It's just depressing. I'm so mad that I'm, if this price happens, if the 1080 Ti is $1,000, if it's $900, I'm out. I'm totally out. The max I wanted to see was $750 from a, a partner card, you know? I was fucking hoping the 1080 Ti would come out and it would take back the 650 slot and the 1080 normal would drop back to 550 or something. Or, f you know, something fair. You know, something that was affordable so that people who save their pennies could actually enjoy something that's close to top tier. You know, I'm not paying that much for a graphics card. I could modify my motorcycle incredibly crazy with that type of money. I could buy a whole new fucking motorcycle helmet for less. Let's look at it right now. Let's look at a Shoei RX 14, uh, the Shoei X14. Shoei X14, $755. I could buy a top tier helmet that a motorcycle racer at the highest peak of performance has for less than a graphics card that will pretty much be over the hill in 2018. When 2018 hits, you know, the 11 series cards are coming out and the 1080 Ti isn't going to be the hottest chicken on the fucking rooster anymore. That doesn't even make sense, but you get my point. For the lifespan of these cards, they're asking too much money. Maybe if like the graphics card had more than a two-year lifespan it would it would make sense there could be some sort of justification you could cling to but with shit like this it isn't you know it's only one year before the new cards come out and they want that much for just the, uh, the second tier flagship card oh and nvidia you sons of bitches you finally did it you finally pissed me really off you fucking ooh, ooh, i'm throwing punches i'm the shadow boxing baby ah Oh wait, that was a uh, song by that chick, uh, Fiona Apple. I'll be a shadow boxer, baby. I don't fucking know what the rest of the song was. My my ex, who used to live with me at the time, used to play those those songs. That's how I knew I was in some sort of trouble. <laughs> I'd hear Fiona Apple blasting when I came home. Fast as you can, baby, keeps up me out. You know, fast as you can. Ba -doo -doo -doo. I'm crazy and I got a vagina. Do -do 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 -do. You know, that sort of bullshit. God damn it. I have half a mind to build a spaceship and move to another planet. One that kicks more ass. I want to go to the planet that has hookers and blow. Jesus Christ, for the price of a 1080 Ti, you could get a really nice escort girl and some fucking blow. Some fucking good blow. Colombian gold. You could have blow that the fucking escort girl come in the room and go, I thought you were a real douchebag till I saw that premium quality cocaine on your shitty kitchen table. And I'm like, yes, baby. Instead of buying a graphics card, I paid for a night with you and cocaine. Call me Juan Gigante. All right, that's it. Forget it. I'm sorry. I'm flying off the handle. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Feel free to share me so that way I could, you know, grow as a YouTube channel and maybe someone will give me a shitty Netflix show that I could suck ass in. You know, just dreams. I'm out of here. Fuck it. I'm like a poor man's dice clay. For now. Excuse me. Back again? Our last talk didn't end so well. Are you happy? Truly happy? Some days, yeah. Some days, no. A common answer.